Hello, Fly Fish Food family. This is Brandon, your neighborhood jig nymph master person extraordinaire. We're going to tie the funky flex. This has been my go-to little mayfly nymph. Uh, I've loved to fish this on hopper dropper setups, on Euro nymphs, rigs, any of the above. Um, it's very quick to sink because it's mainly span flex and dubbing, a little bit of feather action. So um, we're showing you a little bit different hook today. So we tie a lot on the Hannock 400. You guys probably know by now that's one of our favorite hooks. When you got to go smaller than a 16, my favorite option is the Dohiku J18. So this is a size 18. Uh, they make a 22. It's a good size. So um, we're going to go ahead and use some UTC 70 and brown olive. And then we have a 2.4 millimeter gold tungsten slotted bead on there. And we're going to use a little bit of Coke de Leon for the tail. Grab, you know, half a dozen or less fibers there. Measure that up and tie that in. We'll cut off the excess there. And then for the body material, um, I like to tie this a lot in, in purple, but for now I'm going to show you more of a natural betis color that I've been having some success with lately. So I'm going to use the dark brown Uniflex. It's a really nice material. If you don't have any spools of Uniflex, great coronamin material, et cetera, et cetera. So when you tie that in, I like to tie it in and then pull it super tight as I work my way back, and that'll help reduce bulk. And then I can cut out that excess right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with lots of tension and every wrap just kind of release a little bit. And that helps build a nice little taper and gives you a nice segmented body look. We'll go ahead and tie that off right there with enough space to dub in a thorax. If you put some nice high tension wraps, you can pull this material really tight before you cut and it'll kind of suck back into the thread wraps and leave you a nice clean body there. And for dubbing, you can never go wrong with a little peacock ice dub. I'm going to dub a little peacock thorax there. Cut out that little fiber for the people with OCD. And for legs on this, I'm going to use a little bit of 4B uh, hen cape. This is the dark natural dun color. Tie that in. That's not sitting quite how I want it, so I'm going to go ahead and back off and do that one more time. That's better. I'm going to snag that with my hackle pliers and don't need to put too much in there. Put one wrap of hackle in there. Okay. Sweep all those fibers back. And then we'll just dub, put a little bit of dubbing in front of that. Kind of clean the fly up. And just a little bit more peacock eye stub in front of those fibers there. And we'll go right into a whip finish. And that there is the Funky Flex.